Isn't this a beautiful sight? Did you ever wonder during the worst of the pandemic if you would ever see this again? Surely all of us had our dark days sitting at home alone wondering, what if? In my teenage years, we sang, it only takes a spark to get a fire going. But what if we couldn't even get a spark? A friend of mine recently told me a story from his Boy Scout days when his troop took on the challenge of a six-day hike. At the beginning of the hike, each patrol received 12 matches and only 12 matches. If a patrol used up all their matches before the days were up, how would they make a fire? No fire meant no warmth, cold food, and a bad time for everyone. The first day of the hike, it poured. My friend's patrol went through three of their 12 matches without ever starting a fire. Eventually, another patrol took pity on them, that's my friend's words, and brought embers from their campsite. Those embers sparked a fire and an idea. Before putting out their fire that night, the patrol shoveled some embers into a sturdy pot and in the morning, the embers still glowed. And thus was born the position of ember bearer. Now the pot was hot, of course. So the ember bearer had to dangle it from a stick over his shoulder, hobo style. And it was smoky, so the ember bearer always brought up the rear. And the ember bearer sometimes had to stop and tend the embers, giving them a little fuel to keep them going. Altogether, a hard job. So as they carried the embers from campsite to campsite, the boys took turns. And they never spent a night without fire. And they finished the hike with nine matches to spare. Every year on the last verse of the last hymn of this service, we lift our candles high to pledge to be a light in the world. And we mean it. We really do. We feel at this moment as bright as these candles, aflame with love. But to each of us, days will come when we feel like our flame has gone out. Do you know that feeling? The feeling that you can't bring light or warmth to anybody. Everyone has days when they feel about as useless as a bunch of soggy matches, incapable of igniting anything for anyone. And that is when you need an ember bearer. Someone who willingly carries that heavy, smoky pot of life and light to provide warmth and light for others, even for you. For unto us a son is born, unto us a son is given. This is the promise of God as spoken by the prophet Isaiah. That child will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And why not add the Ember Bearer? For if surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows, just as surely does he carry the spark to reignite our hearts when grief and sorrows have overwhelmed them. Our Moravian ground of the unity says, our Lord Jesus Christ entered this world to bear its misery and to overcome it. Jesus Christ bears the misery of the darkness and the source of light that overcomes it. It is Jesus' role as ember bearer to each of us that allows all of us, requires all of us, to be ember bearers to one another. And that is not an easy job, so how do we do it? By taking turns. No one is a flame every day, but no one is a soggy match every day either. We all have the capacity to bear a spark and the need to receive one. How did all these candles get lit? Look to your left and to your right. Someone passed a spark to you, and someone received a spark from you. 
In the days to come, when you are in need of a spark to relight your flame, look to an ember bearer, and then be an ember bearer to others. We do this by taking turns. In the name of Jesus, through the love of Jesus, with the fire of Jesus, now and forevermore.